Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're going to look at XRP today. I mean right now the price is sitting down here at 33 cents, still a great buying opportunity. I remember when XRP was at like 50 cents and I was like, oh man, I wish it would go back down to like 30 something so I could buy more. And that's the way a lot of people feel about XRP. They want to get as much as they can. So everyone will get to see why the U.S. government and central banks backed Ripple and guided its design of products for XRP from the early days. You see what I'm saying? This was already supposed to happen. It just had to go through the SEC in this whole lawsuit to get the clarity it needed for the rest of the world, in my opinion. The rest of the world knows XRP is a cryptocurrency, but the U.S. government likes to believe it is not. Or do they already know it's not? I'm sure they already know. They just have to prolong this just a little bit longer. And then we get to see XRP truly take off in all of its glory. So as inflation rates go up, those Nostro Bostro accounts get even more expensive by the day. Then we see this. Collaborations are bringing Ducati NFTs to life. Fintech firm Ripple and the NFT Pro Launch Web3 initiative are bringing Ducati NFTs to life using the XRP ledger. You see what's going on? Even in a bear market in crypto winter, they're still building. XRP does ne never stops building. And it continues even with Web3. You think xrp isn't going to be used in the metaverse you think it's not going to be tied to every single thing that we use web 3.0 metaverse nfts you know payments transactions all of it now how can you sit back and say xrp is going nowhere like i see people say on twitter all the time and the thing about it is in 2020 we could have sat here and said i don't know i'm kind of on the fence about this you know I don't know if a new financial system is coming or not. Because back then it was rumors, it was speculation, it was thoughts that people had like, oh, you know, how big this could be. It, it was like a narrative that was being set back then. Now it's a reality. It's right around the corner. A new financial system is being built whether people like it or not. And the thing is, we already see digital currencies all throughout the world. We see CBDCs all throughout the world. We know the new financial system is going to be ushered in. So it's no longer speculation. It's now, it's fact. You see it actually happening. So where do you think XRP is going to be in the next couple months? So I love Ripple tech, but still am weary of CBDCs. I hope the future Ripple liquidity pool can be used to serve current digital fiats as they are. Now, here's the thing, okay? A lot of people are w very, very scared of CBDCs. They feel the government is going to control them. It's going to control their money. It's going to control them somehow, some way. But the thing is, it's going to come no matter what. No matter if people like it or not. If they don't want to accept it, oh well, guess what? It's still coming. And the thing is, I see people now saying that, you know, oh, when that happens, you know, I'm going to go underground. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to be part of the new system. Everyone's going to be part of the new system. Let's face it. Are you ready for the XRP revolution? And then we see this. Inflation is so high, all the governments can do is give money to suppress the pain. But eventually the money stops and the revolution begins. How long can that, the elites get away with this? And that's the thing. People believe like the CBDCs can work. It allows us to move money over no borders from country to country as we all know. Okay, so it's good technology. The part that the people don't like is that the government is tied to it. They don't like that elites are running the show all the time. They still feel they're going to be oppressed. Now, if you're in cryptocurrency, you have a much better understanding of all this because 
I show it to you in videos, you know, you read about it all over the place because you're always interested in crypto and where your crypto is going in the future. So you are well, you know, pretty far ahead of the normal person out there. Think about when the CBD finally come up online and they're actually being used and people are told they have to take their fiat and convert it to digital money. They're not going to know how to do that. That's why I always say, for a while, we're going to have both systems. We're going to have the digital system and the current system we're in now. Fiat is not going to go away overnight. Like, I know a lot of people say, well, once that fl switch is flipped, that's it. There will be no more money. It can't work like that. You will leave way too many people behind to fall through the cracks. They will have a time period where they have to take money that they have laying around or, you know, stored away and they will have to take it and convert it to digital. That's what I see happening. Not to say that XRP is still going to stay down in value when that happens. I think XRP by then will be taking off pretty well. But it's got to run side by side for a short time. So, is 100% correct. XRP is tipped to be the global bridge currency. Check out Ripple on the man liquidity ledger. The fourth industrial revolution is now unfolding via the Internet of Value. Landmark court case SEC versus Ripple and the SEC is losing. 2022 big for crypto. And I said this. I think we're going to easily hit $100 in the short term with XRP. Why? Because I think the lawsuit ends. Regulatory clarity comes and all the, you know, relistings on the exchanges. I believe a lot of institutional money will come in shortly after that, pushing the price up very high. Like maybe between 50 and 100, somewhere in there. Those four digit numbers come later when the we're sending money all over the world, cross-border payments. And the thing is, we are in the fourth revolution. So the ripple effect of mass protests from end to end worldwide, people of Brazil rising up against the government. Do you see what I'm saying? When you release a CBDC, a digital currency, people worry. And then this happens, what we're looking at here. And this could very well happen in the United States. Like I said in yesterday's video, uh, bank runs can happen in the United States. Lockouts can happen in the United States. People think like the United States is some kind of like uh, we're invincible to all of this stuff that we see going on around the rest of the world. We are not. Right now, I believe the U.S. is at its weakest point ever in history. I think we have a president who's very weak. They're just making up whatever laws they want to come up with day to day. They're causing inflation. I believe that the president that we have right now was put in there to collapse the system. I think that's the only reason he was put there. I mean, we know the whole uh, voting thing that happened in 2020 was a joke. But I don't like to get too political because people have separate views. You know what I mean? And I don't like to argue about politics because... It's like a touchy situation, so let's continue. So we have some strange, strange times ahead, <clears throat> and we must resist, yet unite the left and right, Ro first Roe versus Wade and pending surveillance monetary system, CBDC, digital IDs, it's protest time. What is next? Great resist, the great reset. <clears throat> that's what I'm telling you, folks. People will resist this. We want it. You know, people that hold XRP want this to happen because we want to get rich. I said that in yesterday's video. But it's a two-edged sword. With, no, with a whole new financial system, a lot of people will not get behind it. You know, we want, on one hand, we want it, but we don't want the government control that comes with it. Then we see this, Ripple has explicitly said XRP is the neutral bridge asset that would be used for CBDCs. They can't be done directly because each are created for their own respective countries. 
Hence, the need for a bridge. A U.S. CBDC and France CBDC are not the same just because they're CBDCs. That's what you got to understand. We need to have XRP in the middle. Aha, this is great. What's up with this French CBDC I heard about today coming out in 2023 that Quant and XRP are helping with? You see how the cryptocurrencies are starting to get tied together? XRP to Quant, XRP to, you know, maybe Algorand, Algorand to Flare, creating bridge assets for Bitcoin and Dogecoin. They're all coming together in this new system. And it's going to be huge. So, quote, XRP Ledger handling the inevitable U.S. federal CBDC and route to transacting the entire entirety of the Earth's quadrillions in annual cross-border payments. Inevitable. That's what I keep saying. And this is about Michael Barr being appointed to the federal crypto overseers. He's going to create regulations. And I could tell you right now, he was put there for a purpose. Gary Gensler was put in the SEC for a purpose. He was put there to hold up this whole court proceeding as long as he could. While they were still working on the framework for the new financial system. It's all meant to happen. I always said it, it's a play playing out in front of us. It's one big charade. The thing is, if you're not invested in cryptocurrency, I'd be very, very worried right now. Think about it. You know, we have a recession coming. People are going to lose their jobs. We have inflation skyrocketing. We have food crisis after crisis. And all of this going on in the world. And yet, we're not so worried. We know what's coming to us. We're going to get rich, and we're going to you know be able to do whatever we have to do to survive all of the incoming crisis i think a liquidity crisis is going to usher in the new financial system that's why i said i think bank lockouts things like that are going to happen all over the world and then what happens they bring in xrp and the new financial system to solve all of those problems a liquidity lockup is going to happen the system will freeze. It will happen by design. Global debt is tremendously greater than 2008. And that's what I was just talking about. They have to create a crisis first. The BRICS nations account for more than 40% of the world's population and about a quarter of the global gross domestic product. BRICS has a combined population of 3.22 billion. The U.S. has less than 333 million. BRICS could easily trade amongst themselves and cut off the U.S. And that could very well happen. The thing is, people think that the U.S. dollar, like people in the United States, think the U.S. dollar will always be cherished globally. And everyone will want to trade with us. They have to. We're a superpower. But guess what? Things are changing. We see it changing every single day. You know, we can't afford to be printing any more money in the U.S. And a lot of countries are growing in strength. I believe China is probably much stronger than the U.S. at this point due to its new technology. It, you know, China doesn't need the U.S. They don't even have to use the U.S. dollar for anything. I mean, they could trade with, you know, Russia and Europe and India and every country over there. And leave the U.S. sitting here doing nothing. That's why I said the timeline for the U.S. to get on board with the new financial system has been changed. It had to be changed. We need to keep up with the rest of the world or we will be left behind. So massive strengthening for XRP. As study shows, good outlook, outlook on CBDC tech. Do you see what I'm, I'm saying? CBDC, now with you're starting to see articles all over the place. Because they have to make people aware of what's coming. Now, if you're in cryptocurrency, you already know all this. But there's people out there, normies, like I said in yesterday's video, that never heard of cryptocurrency, don't know about a new financial system, don't even see what's coming. So, Ripple to settle the, court, the SEC case. XRP lawyer draws hint. And we know that's going to go into a settlement at some point. 
those emails are not going to see the light of day, in my opinion. And with that said, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to try to make more content for you for this weekend. It's hard to juggle work and do this at the same time. So I try to at least get you one video a day with XRP. But we're going to try to do even more over the weekend. I'm going to try to talk more about what I see coming with CBDCs and things like that. With that said, have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next one.